didn't know that. I thought it was much. Hey kids, I hope you're all doing really, really well. So I'm really excited because I get to be your host for this week. So if you do not know, my name is Victoria and the theme for this week is amusement parks and water rides. Speaking of water, I have a really, really interesting fact for you guys. Did you know that 60% of your body is made up of water? 60%? Wow, I didn't know that. I thought it was much lower. Did you guys think it was higher or did you think it was lower than 60%? Let us know. So we are now going to go into an eye object and it is going to be with drum roll, drum roll with the water. Chris. So let's all put our hands together and clap from our houses for the amazing Chris. Hey, morning everyone. Um, I'm in my car. Now I'm sure many of you have got cars or you've had trips in cars. I wonder if you've ever been in a car when it's broken down. Maybe you've got a flat tire. Have you ever experienced that? What happened and what happens when there's a mini emergency? What do you do uh, when you're in your car? Well, let me show you. Come and have a look at this in the boot of my car. So here we are, we're at the boot of my car and I'm just going to lift the floor lining up and underneath it we've got this which is like a, a little emergency kit. Now depending on your car, if it's an older one you might actually have a spare wheel in here and you might have a, a jack to jack your car up to repair uh, your flat tyre but mine's a bit different so it comes with this liquid okay that this pumps into my tire that then it, it reflates it as well if my car gets broken down you've got this tow hook that screws into my bumper and then there's a little tool down here as well and so it's for if there's a quick emergency but that got me thinking about something else and so this is my fault you know sometimes like being out in our car we can have a surprise might end up with a flat tire. But actually, sometimes God can turn up and surprise us as well. Sometimes when we're having a really hard time, God can turn up in the form of a friend who's there to help love you and care for you and support you. Sometimes we might get some really, really uh, bad news or we need something and God provides it for us by surprise. You know, God loves to uh, spring things on us and to surprise us and um, today i want to just spend a moment thanking god that he is a god who loves us he cares for us and he he wants to meet our needs and he wants to be there for us and so as you go through today keep your eyes open because you just never know god might be looking to surprise and bless you in some way so i hope you guys are ready because we are about to go into the best craft activity you guys have ever experienced and it is going to be with another drum roll of our waters Candace. hi guys it's Candace, and today i'm going to be doing your craft activity now you would have seen but we will be making water kits it is it doesn't require a lot of things but it's quite difficult so you're going to want to make sure that you listen up because the results are pretty amazing so the first thing that you're going to do is need to get you're going to need to get your stuff so that includes a water bottle that includes a cork which is very important you're going to get want to get some sellotape or some blue tack you want to get some scissors as well you also want to get a bicycle pump. Now this is key and it's got to have a needle pin at the top. And also some stuff for decorations if you want to decorate your rocket. I can't forget that. So the first thing that I did was get the cork ready. Now the cork needs to be water tight. This is the most important thing. So to do that, you want to size up your cork to your water bottle. Now, if your cork doesn't fit your water bottle like mine didn't, you're going to want to wrap sellotape around it. But for me, I found that sellotape was too hard and I wish I had duct tape. If I had duct tape, it would have worked much better. So if you have duct tape, go for it. But once you've sealed your cork and you know that it's the right size for your water bottle, you're going to want to stick a hole through the cork so you can put the bike pump through it. 
Now, this part is essential that you get an adult because the cork requires a hole to be punched through and to get the hole through, you either have to use a knife or you have to use scissors. It's quite difficult. So make sure you get an adult to help you punch a hole through your cork. So what you're gonna want to do after that is that you're gonna wanna decorate your bottle. Now this is a really fun bit, you can get creative. For me, I tried to decorate my bottle, it wasn't the best, but I gave it a go so it can look a bit more like a rocket. Now, once your bottles are decorated, you're gonna want to fill them up with just a little bit of water. Too much water is gonna be too hard for the rocket to go off. And finally, what you're gonna to wanna to do is add the cork on top of the water bottle. And you wanna screw that on tight so that the cork is very tight on at the top. So this allows for pressure to build up inside of the water bottle. And then this bit can get quite messy and it can get quite hard, so I went outside to try and do this. But now we're gonna put the bicycle pump through the cork and we're gonna try and pump it so hard so that the water, so that the rocket can shoot off. Here's my attempts, they kind of failed a little bit. But it was super fun. So I hope you guys can have a go. If you've managed to do it, let us know down in the comments below or send us a message on our social media pages and we can see what you guys have done. And if this is a really fun craft activity. So if it doesn't work out the first time, try it again because making water rocket is great. And that's today's craft activity, guys. I hope you enjoy. Take care. Bye. So the worship song for this week is Fresh Wind and it is by Hillsong Church. Um, and the song is sig really significant to me because it talks about God giving us this fresh anointing and just pouring out his love onto us and renewing us and refreshing us. Um, and the same way water is used to refresh our bodies, like God is there and his spirit is there to refresh our minds and to refresh our spirits and re to refresh our hearts. So I hope that as you guys listen to that song, when you do listen to it, that it really does um speak to you and that is a time where you can just reflect and have god speak life into you um from wherever you're at in your life right now spirits and rushing with fire of god for within holy ghost breathe on us we pray so leading on from that, we are about to have an amazing message by Lauren. Oh wait, I forgot to do my drum roll. Lauren. Good morning, everyone. Now I have my first question for you today. How many of you love amusement parks? Now I'm sure there's lots of hands up. I love them too. They are so much fun. My favourite part about it is the water rides. And what I like about the water rides is no matter where you sit, no matter where you are, you are bound to get wet. So there's lots of different rides you can go on. The first one that a lot of people normally go on is the Raging Rapid. And it's a little boat, about eight people can sit in there, but there's again no safe seats. So one time you might go around the obstacle and you only get a sprinkle of water, but the next time when you go around, you get completely drenched. Another good one is log flumes, and it's like a log shaped boat, which takes you up a hill and then you go down. And when you go down, there's a big splash. And again, it doesn't matter where you sit. One time you might just get a little bit wet. The next time you'll get completely drenched. And even if you're outside of the boat and lining up, it's a very likely that you will get soaked as well. And what I like about these rides is a lot of thrills, it's a lot of fun, and there's just no guarantee that you can stay dry. And the only way you can do that is by being prepared. So some people go with maybe a swimming hat on or a bathing suit or making sure there's nothing in your pockets that you don't want to get wet, like your phone. So the same way with water rides, life can be a bit unexpected and things can happen. And in life, we can have lots of unexpected and sometimes bad things that happen and it can leave us a bit confused and we don't know what to do. But the same way that bad things can happen in life, miraculous things can happen in life too. And that's what we're going to be learning about today. 
As the church began to grow, so did the persecution against Christians. They were being thrown in jail, beaten or even killed for their faith. And once the Romans had them, there were rarely any escapes. And in today's story, Peter is thrown in jail for preaching about Jesus. But just when Peter thought his time was up, God does the unexpected. Now we're going to be watching a clip today that tries to show what happened. But please feel free to read this with your, pa- with your parents after church. And you'll find this passage in Acts 12, 1 to 7. He was in prison behind locked doors. Would he ever leave that cold, dark place? At first, Peter could not sleep. He lay on the cold, hard ground in the dark. His hands were chained to two guards. He hurt all over. His only comfort was knowing that the other believers were praying for him. Fourteen other soldiers stood outside the cell guarding him. To escape was humanly impossible. All the excitement of being arrested made him very tired. Soon he fell into a deep sleep. Peter felt something, or someone, touch him. He woke up to a bright light. An angel reached out to him. Quickly, get up, the angel said. Peter thought he was dreaming until the chains fell off his wrists. Put on your clothes and sandals, said the angel. Wrap your cloak around you and follow me. Peter obeyed. He felt as if he were still dreaming. Quietly, the angel led Peter past all fourteen guards. When they reached the prison gate, it opened by itself. As they walked down the street, the angel disappeared. Peter knew then that this was not a dream. He was awake. I know the Lord sent his angel to rescue me from Herod, he said to himself. Peter walked to John Mark's mother's house. He knew the believers had gathered there to pray. Peter knocked softly on the outer door. Rhoda, a servant girl, answered. Who is it? She asked through the closed door. Rhoda, Rhoda, Peter whispered. It's Peter. Peter, she shouted joyfully. He's at the door. Then, without opening the door, she ran back to tell the others. Peter stood there, surprised that she hadn't let him in. He put his ear to the door. He could hear a voice inside saying, Rhoda, you're out of your mind. No, it's true, Rhoda cried. Peter knocked again. Peter's in jail, said another voice. But I heard him, said Rhoda. Peter knocked again. He's got four squads of soldiers guarding him, said someone else. I know it's his voice, insisted Rhoda. Peter knocked harder. It is Peter, Rhoda said in a tearful voice. Peter didn't want to wake up the whole neighborhood, but he knocked loudly once more. Everyone rushed toward the door. They yanked it open and almost shouted when they saw Peter. He motioned for them to be quiet. Their voices dropped to a whisper as they pulled him inside the house. Everyone began talking at once, saying, Praise God! Peter, you're safe! We've been praying for you all night! Peter was in big trouble. King Herod had already killed James, one of Jesus' disciples, and was ready to make an example out of Peter. He didn't want Peter to escape so badly that he chained him to two prison guards while he was in jail. Peter's friends prayed that he would be released and that's when God did a miracle. God sent an angel into the prison to release Peter, to free him from his chains and to open the doors. When Peter's friends saw him, they couldn't believe it. They were so shocked. But God did a miracle and saved Peter from a certain doom. Miracles are when God steps into our world and does something supernatural. Miracles can be really big, like God miraculously removing cancer from somebody's body, 
or it can be a bit smaller like a family receiving a gift of money that really need it at that time. But miracles, big or small, can't be explained because it's only God who does it for us. But they are reminders that we have a big and loving God who is always looking out for us. So life, it may throw some unexpected twists or turns, but you are not alone on this journey. This is just a reminder that God is with you in all of this. And if there are any unexpected turns or twists, you can go to God and pray to God because he hears your prayers. So the next time life throws anything maybe hard or unexpected at you, take it to God and don't be surprised if he does something that is unexpected. Okay, so that was our message for today. Thank you so much for listening. Now we're just going to have a bit of a time to pray. So if you would like to get involved and if it helps you to concentrate, you can close your eyes and bow your heads and you can say Amen after me if you would like to. So dear God, we thank you so much that you do miracles. We thank you that even in times that's hard and unexpected that you help us out in all of it. We thank you that you hear our praise and that you're always there to help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we have now come to the end of our amazing kids service. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you liked the object lesson. I hope you enjoyed the craft and I hope you enjoyed the message and I also hope you enjoyed our amazing water bottle drum rolls. <laughs> Um, so before we close, I just want to remind you guys that we also have other social media pages which you should go and follow. Instagram, Facebook, subscribe to the YouTube channel which we're on right now. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing week and I think we should close with one small thing. If you can guess what this small thing is, then it's amazing. <laughs> the thing that we're going to close with is a water bottle drum roll. Seeing as we're talking about water, we might as well make the most of it. So if what I need you guys to go and do is go get yourself a water bottle if you haven't got one already, and I need you to do a massive drum roll with it. <laughs> so on the count of three, we're gonna do it. If you have two, that's even better, okay? Three, two, one. Okay, that was just a bit of fun, which I hope you guys enjoyed. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.